Kahala, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahusha, Bashem, Racha, Kodash. Want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and peace and blessings unto the hopefully elect across the four corners of the earth, man. And uh, this is Brother Yagadal Aman from GMS Houston. And I'm just uh, doing a quick response video to, uh, as you see on the screen, uh, it's a video that the brother uh, Shahar did from GMS uh, Dallas Camp. And the title is, Are You Willing to Die for This? A Question We Should All Ask Ourselves. And this is a question that we should all ask ourselves, man, because this is something that we have to prepare for. This is something that we read about constantly in the, in, in the history of our forefathers, men that have died for the faith of Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, man. So we have to uh, not only read these uh, uh, as as this like how, not like you did in history class with Esau's history just for for learning, man, but to prepare us for the extreme cases and circumstances that we are coming upon in Jacob's trouble, man. And this brother went into uh, 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 the scriptures beautifully, man, to edify this point, man, that we have to uh, increase our uh, pray for the Most High to increase our faith and keep us in the mind frame that uh, we, that we are. Uh, uh, are willing to die for the faith, man. And if, if any brother have not seen this video, I advise you watch it. It's a very edifying lesson and, and a faith booster as well, man. So I'm going to play a short amount of this clip just to get a key point, man. And I'm going to go into the scriptures. Edif uh, Lord willing, this be edifying. Uh, with that, here we go. Ten promises. That sounds like Moses to me. Okay. There's an abundance of different men that had persevered through situations due to their faith in Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai. We need to have that same exact faith as those ancient men had. Okay? And just real quick, and that's a beautiful point, one of the main points I wanted to expound on, the brother said, we have to have that same ancient faith as our forefathers uh, did, man. Why? Because we coming up on the times where Esau's about to get back to his, uh, his ancient ways, man, of torture tactics and execution, man. It won't be standing before no judge and, and, and getting no bond and, and fighting the case. No, Esau is going to be uh, 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 basically manipulating uh, the situations to execute law uh, 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 by death, man. Getting back to those old draconian, uh, draconian laws, man, where the smallest offense would uh, uh, be penalty of death, man. So when we read these scriptures, I'm going to grab a precept real quick, man, because we was not, like I said, we're not supposed to read these scriptures as just some history lesson, but to prepare us for what's to come, man, and comfort us seeing that the men that, uh, that, that died in the faith, man, that they chose death rather to, to bend to the will of, of, of their oppressor, man, or go against the Heavenly Father and His Son, man. So this is uh, Romans 15 and 4. It says, For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning. Okay? So first off, for us to learn these accounts, man, and lock them in our mind uh, uh, of the, the extreme uh, things that were put before men of the Lord, man, the extreme tests which we have yet to see. We're not in the time of Jacob's trouble, man. Yes, we're being tested, but we're being tested on, on a different scale right now, man. Your life is not at, at, uh, at, um, at, uh, at danger right now, man. Right now, our faith is being tested on a low scale, but you have not been presented with death, man. You have not been chained up and tortured uh, uh, for your faith, man. And that's why this is a, 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 the perfect question, man. Are you willing to die for this, man? As the title says, these men that we read about, our forefathers who were Israelites, man, were willing and did die for this faith, man. We read on. It says that we, through patience and comfort of the scriptures, might have hope, man. So it was a point uh, uh, that the brother, uh, brother had made in the video. I'm not sure if I'll be able to uh, find it, uh, but he had basically... Uh, said that these men had died for the faith and they knew that they wouldn't see the kingdom of heaven at that point in time, man. So how much more heavy it is now in this point in time where the kingdom of heaven is at hand finally, man. 
So this is Esau's last go to try to break you. When he get will get the go ahead from the Most High, because that's who's gonna uh, who's gonna let it happen. The Most High is gonna let uh, this devil come in like a flood, man. And he's gonna do exactly what he was made to do, man. He's gonna execute his, uh, his power wickedly, man. And his main targets are the men of the Lord, man. And that's when your faith is truly gonna be tested, man. I'm going to play a little bit of this, uh, more of this video. And when those men were presented in front of troubles, that's when their faith was really, truly tested. And that's when they were rewarded. It says in verse 34, quench the fire, Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego, escaped the edge of the sword, out of weaknesses were made strong, waxed valiant in fight, turned to flight the armies of aliens. Okay, so these are all the deeds that was done through faith. Okay, and we have to believe that that. Let me rephrase this. Okay, does that not apply to us? Were these not men that were in the flesh that believed in Yahweh? Why Yahweh shy? So with that being the case, that applies to us as well if we believe that same exact way. But the only way your your faith is truly going to be tested. Is for those extreme measures to be prevented in front of you. So with those extreme measures placed in front of you, there was extreme faith involved and extreme action take place and extreme miracles that taking place. All right. But some men at the end of the day, certain men, they died presented in front of it. But did they lose the faith? Absolutely not. And just real quick, uh, and that's why I brought out that Romans 15 and 4. And it said through patience and comfort of the scriptures that we might have hope, man. Because not every man that you read about uh, uh, had died, man. You read about Daniel. He was, uh, and the brother brought out that example, man. It was many men that kept the faith and the Most High uh, uh, performed great miracles and delivered them because they remained faithful, man. So not all of us are going to taste death, but uh, some of we, you, we all are going to be in that mindset. I have our faith built up to take death over a uh, 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 blaspheming or turning on the, the most high man and does that mean those men won't be rewarded no those men will be rewarded greatly the men that died for it we have to come to the reality that a lot of us aren't gonna make it all right when i say aren't gonna make it i don't mean to the chariot of course we understand that you know hey at the end of the day the elect are gonna be delivered but there's a not even possibility, guarantee that a large portion of the election are going to die on this side. All right. Hey, and uh, just real quick, I'm gonna, I'm, that's the last I'm going to play on that video. Like I said, any brother hadn't seen it, I uh, highly uh, advise you to go watch that video, if the Spirit allow. But we coming up on that time, man. So where the Most High is about to acquire that which is past, man. And like the brother said, those men that died that we read about, they are going to be rewarded because they're back in the flesh today, man. So whoever the elect is, is going to have that high level of faith to resist whatever Esau comes at us with, man. Because he's getting back to his old ancient way. Uh, 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 and you seeing that in, in the midst of the streets, man. It's getting caught on camera. Uh, these so-called cops or uh, 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 police officers are just executing Jake in the streets and getting away with it, man. So in the time of Jacob's trouble, when law is pretty much out of the way, how much more do you think this devil is going to uh, 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 get down, man? For years, they've been stocking up on, on guillotines, man. Stocking up on hollow points, man. And they just coming out, and just real quick, they coming out with all these snuff videos and, uh, and torture chambers that that uh, Hillary Clinton and all these other devils been a part of. Now, see, they 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 they've been doing it behind the scenes, but they can't wait to get to Jake, man. They can't wait to get to the men of the Lord, man. So all this information is coming out, coming out, showing you the spirit of these devils, man. Two thirds of our people, they're going to continue to be blind, man. But we got to know our enemy, man. It's a reason the scripture said never trust our enemy, man. When you go to war, the best thing to do is to know your enemy, man, so you can prepare for whatever your enemy is going to come at you with, man. 
So back to the main topic of man, we, we, we got to get in that ancient mindset uh, uh, of our forefathers and, and, and be prepared uh, and, and pray to the most high that he remain us to be faithful in those times, man. Because we are coming up on a time where the uh, uh, Esau is about to get back doing what he used to do, man. Execution and torture, man. And some of us are going to experience that, man. But this uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and 15, it says, That which hath been is now, and that which is to be hath already been, and Yahweh required that which is past, man. So those extreme cases uh, uh, of Esau torturing men of the Lord, man, to turn them against our power. Those cases where uh, Jake's were uh, going against the men of the Lord, man, stoning uh, 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 the men of the Lord to death are coming back, man. But now it's going to be on a whole nother scale because this is this is a different day and time, man. The weapons are different, man. We coming up on some real extreme times, man. I want to go into this article. Uh, basically, uh, going into uh, the the um, where well, the title uh, of this article is the brutal draconian laws of ancient Greece, man. Now you read in the book of Maccabees about the brothers who uh, who were tortured, man. And what time period was that happening, man? That was during uh, the Greek Empire, man. So this is uh, off a website called, um, this is ancientorigins.net, and the title of the article, as I said, was The Brutal Draconian Laws of Ancient Greece, which are introduced by uh, uh, a guy named Draco, man, who basically uh, had put, uh, was basically put in force the, the first written laws, man, over uh, the, the, the previous oral laws during the uh, 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 time of the Athens, man. So I'm going to jump to a specific part of this article, man, just to get to the point, man, to show you the mindset of Esau and what he's about to get back into, man. It says, uh, it says the records also record that, let me jump up a little bit further. It said claims that the penalty for the theft of an apple or cabbage was death. And you could have someone made your personal slave if they owned you, owed you money. The, rec the writ writer also records that when Draco was asked to reason, asked the reason for making execution a punishment for most offenses, the reply was that small ones deserve that, i.e. death, and I have no hire for the greater uh, crime. So pretty much everything was penalty of death, man. And his excuse was, when they questioned him on it, was the smaller ones deserve death, so there's no higher penalty for the great crimes, man. So now how much more do you think this devil want to uh, put the men of the Lord to death, being that we out on the highways and byways and in the spirit of the Most High and His Son condemning His kingdom and threatening His rulership, man? It says, with, uh, with so much human bloodshed is the dispensation of justice. So that's the mindset of Esau, man. The ultimate way of, uh, to show, uh, uh, to, to issue out justice is by bloodshed, man. So this is the times we coming on, man. And I, uh, I'm not going to keep this long, man. Uh, I just wanted to kind of uh, expound on a couple points. Man, as the brother went into the lesson beautifully, man, that we have to really prepare ourselves for death, man. Because Esau is about to present that death, man. In the form of, of, of martial law camps, man. In the form of executions, man. Beheadings, tortures, man. I'm going uh, to bring out this last scripture in the book of 1 Maccabees, uh, chapter 2 and 51. It says, Call to remembrance what acts our fathers did in that time. So shall ye receive great honor and, everlast and an everlasting name. So the men of the Lord that resisted in those times, man. Are back today, man. So we we have to call upon, uh, uh, well, like the scripture said, it says, call to remembrance what acts our fathers did in their time, man. And what acts what did they do? They did great acts of faith, man. 
before the face of their enemy, which were trying to get them to go against the law, statutes, and commandments of the Heavenly Father. And this day and time, we're going to be presented with the hour of temptation, man. Which is going to be the mark of the beast in the form of the RFID chip, man. Along with many other things that's coming in the times of, of, of our faith being ultimately tested, man. Hey, with that, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. Once again, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Ruchak Wadash. I want to say double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings unto the hopefully elect. Shalom.